All right, y'all. So in this one, we're going to be checking out Da Vinci, man. Now, this is one of the Bitcoin billionaires who was one of the he's the first one that I've seen on record telling people way before Bitcoin ever blew up. He was telling everybody to get Bitcoin. He was preaching about the importance of it. So, yeah, this guy. Um, yeah, I, I've been watching him and checking him out time from time because he also has called a few things that, you know, I, I've been able to profit from. So, yeah, he he always usually looks towards the future he believes in a lot of different things and some things that maybe i'm just not educated about i don't see it like um shiba in you but i mean people have been making money from that i think that's one of his um little plays that he tell people that they got to hold some of and stuff like that but yeah I i'm always interested in in trying to learn trying to understand um and yeah just basically see who i can learn from and what information is important so this video is about the un unimaginable wealth opportunity now i know how big this opportunity is when it comes down to crypto we know that the, this is going to be the biggest transference of wealth in the history of the world so um yeah but I, I still like to hear people speak on topics like this so yeah we're going to dive into that man be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe and turn notifications and let's get into it y'all with crypto pumping many people like yourself want to participate in this incredible opportunity of crypto. And there's still opportunity for you to join in. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Davinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe five by five, staying alive in Dubai right now. But by the time you watch this, it's going to be March the 1st and I'm going to be in Miami. I've recorded this here in Dubai. Shortly after I did my other uh, video that I normally did for um, the, the 29th. And uh, I'm going to be doing some predictions for prices. Uh, where I see the prices are going to be by the time this video comes out. Uh, and I might be wrong. I might be right. Who knows? I'm just going to throw out my predictions out there and see where they land. <laughs> and also, I'm going to be talking about how th this crypto revolution is the opportunity for the average person to see generational wealth be created in a very short amount of time. My fiance yesterday was looking at her crypto account and looking at me as prices continue to rise into the $64,000 mark. And I said that this is normal for Bitcoin when people realize what it is, when you understand what it is, you're not just buying an asset where a number go up. You're realizing you're buying an asset that every single mofo on the planet is going to use. They're going to have some, they're going to want some. Every single person on the planet is going to want this and it's fixed in supply. I'm going to repeat that, sir. So you can, you can understand and mentally get it through your head. Every single person, every single person is eventually going to want to have some Bitcoin. That's actually crazy. Putting it into perspective like that, thinking about it like that. Yeah, it's, it is insane because we do see all the other like, hundred X's thousand X's we see this stuff popping off everywhere. And that's kind of what gets, you know, the focus, where can we get one of those at and things like that. But realistically, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is the most trusted of all crypto. Like Bitcoin is, is that's the safe haven. That's the goal. That is something that once we are starting to pay everything with digital currencies, like worldwide, that's going to be the one that's probably going to become like the dollar, except for the dollar for the entire planet. Like, so imagine like, like the U.S. dollar, like, you know, notice how all these countries got their own currencies. This Bitcoin is probably going to be that, that, that just that, that dollar for every country, for, for, for everywhere in the world. So, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. The, the importance of this is going to be big. And even if it's not the dollar, I know all these countries are probably going to try to make their own cryptos and stuff like that. It's going to be potentially, it's going to be the gold. Like that, that's why they call it the gold. It's going to be the gold. That, that's a better, that's a better reference. And, and understanding what that actually means is huge because we are moving towards this digital age. So 
yeah, that's that's dope to think about. Now you can say, well, Da Vinci, there's people in the freaking uh, Amazon. They don't know anything about money. Okay, fine. You're one of those 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 girls who just has to be right, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for you, right? You can, you know, unsubscribe and walk away, right? Because you're that dumb. For the rest of you, right? Um, who, who want to understand why and say, okay, yeah, okay, I get it. You're, you're saying that this is going to happen based on what, right? Oh, well, you know, you, you have a, an asset that it's, it's d designed function to be money. Well, it can't be money because no, you can't transfer it and buy groceries. Okay, I understand that some people have average intelligence and can't see beyond what is right in front of them, right? Um, I get that, right? Um, and that's all you're caring about. Is you're looking at what's right in front of you. Uh, you were if if the cars were just invented, you would say there was no roads and no car, gas stations, right? You couldn't see that everybody's using cars in the future. You can't see that. Your, your mind is closed to that possibility. If we were to just invent electricity, your mind would be closed to the possibility that everybody would be using electricity um, because, hey, well, how do you get electricity to all these houses? Uh, how do you, how do you make, make uh, uh, you know, cable, what are you going to run cables everywhere? How is that going to be possible? How he got a good point. People are trying to think too far ahead and, and point out all the problems of why something may not happen or something may not go well and not factoring in all the reasons why something could or something would. And that's a good point. That is something that people do quite often. It's like people don't believe in something until it's already here and it's already happened. And even with what Bitcoin is doing, like this is pumping like crazy. You think this is all just hype? You think governments and people like that are, are, are taking a notice and regulating and stuff like that off of just hype? I mean, the validity of the stuff that these guys are saying, especially people like him, um, I, I believe it. I trust in it mainly because it's being proven by the action that the SEC, the government and stuff like that. These people are taking these acts. If this was just some, if I just decided, yo, I want to create something, let me call it a uh, tiptoe like and I just wanted to start selling coins for money and stuff like that this is just me a regular guy trying to create something random the government is they if anything I get locked up but <laughs> they not finna just come and try to regulate things and start including this it's not going to be used in stores and stuff like that crypto is becoming what it's going to be but this is just the early stages of what it's going to be as much success and everything that's come from it this is still the early stages so when you get that through your head and realize where this really could go this is this is massive. The government is is literally regulating. There's ETFs coming for this. We're at the beginning stages of something that's going to be insane. And I don't even fully comprehend exactly where things are going. I just know that this is huge. And I'm still I'm I'm trying to educate myself daily and trying to understand daily because I I'm not where I need to be yet, but I, that's why I just keep working, you know? Keep trying to understand. Was how is, uh, you know, oh, wait a minute. You're talking about DC electricity. Oh, you know, I know a thing about DC electricity. We're going to need cables the size of a school bus. How's that going to work? These kind of um, people, right, existed back then and they exist today. I hope you're not one of them. I hope you are smart enough to know, oh, there will be people who overcome these limitations, these problems that I see today with Bitcoin. That's what I've noticed. It's not a lot of problem solving oriented minds. It's like anyone can come up with a new problem for something that said a lot of people can't think about the fact that every problem has a solution and not to say that every problem solution will somebody will solve every problem, but Bitcoin is a problem that people are working to solve. Governments are regulating like stores. You can go and, and there's Bitcoin ATMs and all type of stuff like this stuff is existing already. You see the problems when it comes to Bitcoin, people are setting out to solve them. So it's kind of the one crypto that's not debatable in the slightest. It, it, it really is. So I, I, I definitely get it. 
I definitely get it. It's, it's it's on another level in comparison to a lot of the other stuff that people can invest in. I'm seeing it. Such as, you know, people actually using it uh, to pay at the uh, get at uh, POS systems, right? Or at your coffee shop, at your grocery store, that will come. Just like, you know, gas stations and roads came. Just like, um, you know, power lines and uh, power stations came. That will come. But you get to buy it before. The asset before that all came. And then profit majorly when it does. Right? And he was saying this way before Bitcoin ever blew up to where it's at today. He was saying it before it was ever this high. This man was saying, I think he was saying it before it was a penny or something like that. He was saying it very early. Like he was, that's what I remember. Like he's, he's, he's been saying this for a while. What do you know, Stradamus? How do you know? I'm not Nostradamus. <laughs> Well, Bitcoin is just, just a mathematical protocol, right? Where, you know, protocol is basically a means of communications and math is, you know, like one plus one equals two. Um, and you know, you could also use logarithmic, um, values, right? Uh, the log of, uh, of a number and you get, a, you get a valuation, right? You always get the same valuation. And, and so that's what Bitcoin is, is just, you know, mathematical evaluation of do you have Bitcoin and do you not have Bitcoin and can you send Bitcoin if, right? And that's what it is, plain and simple. That's how you know, right? Because, you know, math stays as a constant that it will work. Once you understand that concept that math stays as a constant, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and we have this asset now that you could transfer wealth from one person to another instantly across the world. And if we were to go into outer space instantly in outer space. Yeah. It's that big, right? And then if you study, um, you know, monetary history, right? You know, that our current f fiat system, our current financial system is coming to an end. It has to come to an end eventually because it is not designed to be like, it's just like a, a, a scam, a fraud. All frauds come to an end. You need more and more people going into debt and that's not possible. So what's going to replace it? Yes, you could say gold, but the reason why I, we don't want to trust gold again is because we have to put the faith in a government to make sure that they don't take away the gold. And they, we know they've done, they've done that and they have done that several times. So. Now we put our faith into math. And so you have the opportunity of a lifetime to purchase Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that operate similar to Bitcoin and see wealth appreciation of epic proportions. You're still early. You can see similar to just Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that operate similar to Bitcoin and see wealth appreciation of epic proportions. You're still early. You could say, well, wait a second. It's way too high. Yes, it probably is too high right now. Probably might return back to 50 K. I don't know. But what I do know, what I do know in the long term, you will have wealth, not even in a long term. Like what do you consider long term? Most people consider long term 10 years. In the, in the, sh just in the immediate short term of 12, 12 months, you'll have more than double of your money. If you bought just right now, right now, you have more than double your wealth just by buying Bitcoin today and possibly even Ethereum. So what are you waiting for? Head over to uh, coinw.davincij15.com or... <laughs> I missed that switch straight into a promotion. <laughs> and that was smooth, bro. <laughs> Yo, hey, but this is what be making people think that it's all scammy and stuff. Because you'll say some real shit, then you'll promote yourself. And it's like, oh, he's selling something. <laughs> like, that. he just went into the sales territory like that. But it was smooth, though. I messed with it. Buy bit .davincij 15com or even 2 bit .davincij 15com and buy some crypto. Or even just open up an account to start. Right. Don't even like if you don't have any crypto, 
and, and, and you don't know where to begin, just open up an account at all three of those exchanges right now. Do that. Just create an, just use your email, use your, your, create a password. And that's it. Just to, to do that because you need to start doing something in order to make your life better in the future. I see, you know, the wealthy people are starting to understand what I just explained to you and buying this hand over fist because they know they can only get a certain number of them. You want to beat them to that punch and don't wait anymore for a special occasion. All right. With that said, I want to, to do some short-term price predictions and some long-term price predictions. I already did a little bit of long-term price prediction, meaning 12 months, 12 to 18 months, but I'm going to do a little bit more. And, um, in the meantime, I really think uh, I'm going to show you a chart, uh, of, uh, of, um, Ethereum, right. And let me just zoom in on the chart. I really think we're going to see Ethereum, um, by the time this video is um, published, uh, over 3,700 and, um, for Bitcoin, I really think we're going to see Bitcoin, um, create an all close to the all time high, get close to the all time high before we actually reverse which is around the 69,000 ish area. By the time this video is probably published now, it could be wrong, could be completely wrong. Uh, I think uh, you can publish thousand. They are going to see big the time this video is um, published uh, over 3,700 and um, for Bitcoin, I really think we're going to see Bitcoin um, create an all close to the all time high, get close to the, uh, I just had to check and see if he was right. And he was, that's crazy. All time high before we actually reverse which is around the 69,000 ish area. By the time this video is probably published now, it could be wrong, could be completely wrong. Uh, I think uh, you can see there is a clear indication now that we've broken out from here to here in this level. And then we are going to pump all the way. We're going to come up, at least well, well, right now, all the way to the and pump above the, the, the $64,000 mark is where it's targeting at this current point in time. And I think we're, we're that's not, that's not where we're going to stop. I think we're going to continue going higher, maybe not exactly the way it may come back from there and then, then continue higher, but one way or another, we're going to see some high numbers in the short term. And I don't know what's going to happen going into the happening, but we could see Bitcoin well over hundred K going into the happening in April, well over in the 120, 100 and some odd category. If, if the people who are buying this right now understand their situation, like I just explained to you now over in the longer term, like uh, 12 to 18 months, we could see Bitcoin um, well over a quarter of a million, probably close to half a million. Um, by the time the end of this bull run is over, of course, we're going to see Ethereum and uh, probably over the 20K mark easily because, you know, people are like, well, I can't, they, they either move to Ethereum because you know what? They see bigger alpha or they see more uh, features and use case for Ethereum. And, you know, the money is just, you know, pouring into Bitcoin. So, you know, it's time to, to, to push Ethereum. So Ethereum will get pushed as well. And this will drag in all the other altcoins and some of them will do like multiples of hundreds of X's. Uh, you're going to see games, everything that's in the crypto space just absolutely explode games, everything that's in the crypto space just absolutely explode. This man is literally giving straight game right now. This is crazy. This, he, he's, he's preaching. He's preaching. So wherever you've got your money in crypto, you will see uh, explosive growth. I looked at my fiance and she just can't believe that within a few days she's made tens of thousands of dollars. And that's how it is in this crypto space. Because most people are afraid. Most people are not interested. And some of them, right? The, the people that are interested have money and they're willing to dump it into any asset and watch it grow. Right? I'm not saying you should do that for sure, but 
this is they're going to take the advantage and anyone who just sits on the sidelines they're going to wait until it's too late and once they do those are the people if you wait until it's too late wait until like at the end 18 months from now when everything's pumping you are going to be pro the, the the person that they they sell to in the future so don't be that person at least at least if you wait until then don't just keep on waiting just keep on waiting don't don't buy if you buy now it's okay right it could go down could go up but um it will eventually you will eventually do well one day in this in the next 12 to 18 months and that's why you want to take part in this grand revolution of crypto hope you enjoyed today's episode i'm going to uh, do some more episodes for you i'm going to be yeah so this was a great video man this was great a lot of information a lot of game man and he's preaching right now i definitely loved it um let me know what you all think let me know your thoughts on it do you agree with him do you disagree i know a lot of people watch other people so do you have any opposing points of views and things like that um yeah, like I said, this is what makes sense to me. He sees a lot of the same things that I see. He just has a much better understanding of it all than me. Um, I'm like surface level understanding um, of a lot of things. And I can see big things, but I'm not quite, you know, as knowledgeable and as experienced. I don't have the same level of experience, obviously. But yeah, that being said, let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.